And uh, in the semi-finals, they beat Albert Saputra and Jason Wong, who are the third seeds. They won 19-21, 21-18, That was in the semis. And they actually, uh, Prajogo actually lost in the semis of the mixed double. So he could have been in two finals tonight. Remember losing to Lai Ting Neng and Mok Jing Chiong. Well, there's no doubt who the favourites are in this one. And that's uh, Prajogo and uh, Ung. Given uh, that they are the number one junior pairing in the world and they are world ranked as well. Oh, that's uh, very nicely done by Pajogo, who shows he's not all about power. They got to the uh, quarterfinals of the uh, Bahrain International Challenge. That was their last international tournament in November last year. But yeah, certainly ending the year in a high as a junior men's champion, so top in the world. They overtook Muputra Arbyansha and Patra Harapan Rindo Rindo. Only the second time that Singapore has had a badminton world number one after Yo Jamin was a top junior female player in June of 2017. Ung is a second year sports business student at Republic Poly and said it was a real honour to create history for Team Singapore and they gave a lot of credit to their teammates and coaches and friends and family. Well, that lead now up to three. They have been playing together since they were 15 and studying at the Singapore Sports School. They've got some uh, very good results in the junior circuit in 2022, as I mentioned to you already, Bulgaria and Croatia. Unbeaten in four matches, as Singapore finished 18th at uh, the World Junior Mixed Team Championships in Spain. Unbeaten, remember that. And the following week in Spain, they reached the quarterfinals of the World Junior Championships, as I said, losing to the eventual champions from China. The national uh, doubles coach, Paulus Firman, has said that they've got a lot of potential, these two, to be a strong men's doubles pair for Singapore. They have the strength and speed in carrying out their attacks, which we've seen already. And they can still improve on stroke accuracy, quality of defence. And he says they should focus, that they should work on their focus and their mental aspect during training and in tournaments. And from this year onwards, they will not play in junior competitions anymore. It'll be interesting to see where they go. Just looking up there. And uh, yeah, when you um, do hit your partner, it does get a bit of a reaction from the crowd. Well, that's nicely put away uh, from one ung to the other. But Jogo has said that their goal is to represent Singapore in major games in 2023. Of course, we've got the Sea Games later this year.
Well, that's nicely done by Onju Jia. Well, the SP are very, very proud of the boys' achievement and saying it's a testament that they can be competitive at the world stage. The, the CEO of SBA said that they're going to have to continue to work hard because the leap to senior level is not easy. And that's where the coach is coming to play. Make it a smooth transition. Just the beginning of their career, remember. And that is out. It is actually a lot tighter than many might have thought. So, it is the favourites who are just in front here. 11-10 at the interval here in game one. I think the service was judged to be too high. Only one point in it. Again, another gasp from the crowd. We've got to give uh, credit there to well, Nicholas Cat and uh, Ung Ju Jin because they are not allowing their much higher ranked opponents to control this as much as they would like. Well, within the uh, Singapore context, Ung and Prajoga have won the Papago Badminton Carnival in 2022, the Alpha Age Group Series in 2021, and the Papago Youth Group in 2021, men's doubles. Also won the uh, Alpha Age Group Series in 2019. So they've won a fair few things domestically. And as we said, a few things internationally now as well. Well, Ong Jun Jia has previously won the Chinese Swimming Club Age Group Badminton Invitational Tournament in boys doubles last year and the Alpha Age Group Series boys doubles under 17 as well last year the Brave Sword Badminton Series under 17 boys doubles and in the open category as well Nicely done by Pachogo. He's got that reach, hasn't he? And the lead is now three.
Yeah, they are still staying in contention here. Ung and Kat. But there's the power once again of Pajogo. I think there might have been a, a string there. thought I might have heard that. And he is indeed going to have to change his racket there, Unk. You could just hear it as you make the shot. So just still two points in it. Well, like many of the games we've seen so far, they've actually been quite close. Which you should expect in a final. Pajogo played that late. They're under a bit of pressure here. And he just snatches at that. Um, only one point in it. That's a great winner, isn't it, from Pajogo. Two is the lead that they've got right now, Pajogo and Ung, and also what they need to win this tournament. Uh, this uh, first game, excuse me. Missed the opportunity there, Projogo. Nice, you put away the backhand kill shot. And that sets up two game points for Ung and Projogo. So the first game then goes to Pajogo and Ung. But a good fight given by their opponents. So into the second game we go. And we saw flashes of just why they are the number one pair. Pajogo and Ung. So, again, you might just, that's a, not a great serve, is it, from Ung? But you, uh, you can just see the height disparity between, uh, for example, Projogo and uh, Nicholas Cut. And it certainly could make a, a big difference in this. Pretty quick points here at the start of the third. Uh, second, I should say. Oh. 
way, way over. And already 4-1 up here in the second. Well, they've come back quickly here and, and cut. Only the one point in it now. This is a good contest, really, between these two sets of uh, players. Yeah, cut just reaching for that one. Yeah, he's made a number of errors already in this uh, second game, hasn't he, cut? Nicholas Cut. Uh, a number of them unforced. And so that is causing a few problems. He's, they're now four points clear. Ung and Pajogo. I think you're going to start seeing them surge ahead. That is just wide though from Ung. Again, nicely done at the net from Ung. Very, very quick points right now in this second game. Well, we should tell you the scores as well. Ung Ju Jin and Nicholas Cut beat uh, Brian Ung and Donovan Wee. 21-16, 21-18 in the round of 32. In the round of 16, they beat... Samuel Lamman and Samuel Tan, 21-13, 21-16. In the quarterfinals, they defeated Mark Wong and Timothy Ung, 21-17, 21-15. And against Vincent Wangxi and Ding Hang Jin, they won the semifinals easily, 21-10, 21-13. So they haven't dropped a game yet until just now. Well, the uh, score is up to eight now the, for Ung and Kat, which means they've come back fairly well here. And I think overall they've acquitted themselves brilliantly so far. The lead is now just one. Remember, it was four points just a short while ago. We're at the interval of game two, it is Prajogo and Ung who lead 11-9, having already taken the first game.
Well, Nicholas Cutt has played in uh, boys under 17 tournaments internationally. Last year he was involved in the Toyota Gazoo Racing Badminton Asia Junior Championships. Lost early on in the uh, men's doubles, uh, boys' doubles. And also early on in the singles. And in the mixed doubles. In fact, he played in three different categories. just tumbling over perfect as far as Ung and Kat are concerned well just when they were looking to level things Prajogo and Ung um, pull away. <laughs> well, certainly the crowd, I think, is uh, trying to root for the underdog here. nicely dug out by Prajogo uh, well well wide with that lead back up to three now they're in a slightly more comfortable position Ung and Prajogo has been dogged resistance hasn't it from Ung and Kat Ung uh, Ung Chu Jin has had a junior ranking of 485 played in the uh, CNL Patumtani Junior International Series. Four point the lead, and four points is what's needed to win. That's a tournament that uh, he won last year on Ju Jin. Now three is the key number. That's the lead. And also what is required to win this final.
Well, Cut wasn't going to miss that. He puts it away well. That's well in, and they're almost there now. Two points away from wrapping this up. Well, remember, the last game also was quite close. So don't discount Ung and Kat just yet. Too much on that, and there are four championship points now. And it's a good performance in the end. Ung and Pajogo have played well, but again, credit to Ung's brother, Jun Jin, and Nicholas Kat, who, again, like every other match so far, have defied the odds a little bit in terms of expectation and performance. Have played well, but it is a good win in the end for... Um, Ang Ju Jie and Johan Prajogo, who have beaten Nicholas Kat Ji Shun and Ang Ju Jin 21 18, 21 16 in the men's doubles final.